we continuously try to improve our content as well as the player and such that we uh, in the end we want to try to get you all to learn as best as possible and one of the feedback from the previous uh, part of the minor was that uh, the structure wasn't always as clear as it should be so this time we involved uh, or we solved it uh, like this what did we do we created an overview per paragraph with a short introduction which you are currently watching where we explain the content of the paragraph and how it relates to the entirety of that week's topic so you're currently watching at the very first paragraph regarding change and as you will see it gives a short description about what it is about so in this case you would see that it's all about the source of innovation change and this also explains how it relates to the topic of this week innovation in itself so that gives you a better understanding what you're currently doing and why you are doing this then you will see the overview of the different chapters or paragraphs sorry we mixing them up for myself as well so there you will see that this um, paragraph only has one sub paragraph normally you would see a, a more elaborate list of different sub paragraphs so 3.1.1 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, etc. So try to ignore the BC 3.1 part. So this is week one from level three of the blockchain miner. This is needed. Uh, this, this gives you a bit of a very long number, but this is needed for later on when we have multiple courses. And if you want to switch courses every time, if you want to get study points for other courses as well. So you will get uh, micro credentials for, for example, following this particular paragraph. If you combine many different paragraphs, you get a very a colorful, multidisciplinary uh, study portfolio. So this is the sole reason why we created uh, this lengthy uh, numbers. So the BC stands for blockchain, three stands for level three, uh, dot one is for week one, and dot one uh, is for the very first paragraph, and there is no set paragraph, only one, so the last one. So, uh, of course, I won't explain this every time, so this is a bit lengthier introduction of the very first paragraph. What we also changed is that we now have uploaded the learning objectives of each session in the very first slide. So you will see what our intention was by passing down this knowledge and what we want you to take away after this very first paragraph. So in this case, after this very first paragraph, you are able to define change from your own personal perspective. So what do you think that change is? Because it's a term that's often uh, defined in very many different forms, as you will see during the course. Other than that, you will also learn how to explain how these changes your life as an individual. So this is reflecting on your definition of change and then apply it on your uh, individual life either as a, the individual you are or as a professional or as, as a member of the community. It all depends on the type of head you take on. Other than that, we have the third one. The third one is that where uh, you already encountered the third one, so you are already acquainted with this information. This is about the HBDI and Hexaco profiles. In this case, um, we... Um, relate the knowledge that you gained during the first part of your minor with the knowledge that we present you here that everybody copes differently with changes and there are many different profiles but this is an easy one you cover this one but sometimes life, uh, life can be easy as well there you see a slight difference in uh, difference in font so this one is light green which doesn't mean that it's a light learning objective no quite the contrary this is a tougher learning objective so this means this one is optional in this case so the darker green is mandatory or is part of the regular curriculum and is most often incorporated in a sort of an assignment or in the test or whatever that will be tested the green one is optional and you will often encounter it as an optional assignment for example um Oh yeah, one final thing you will see between the brackets, the uh, remember, understand, applying and evaluate, like here, here, here and here. That's a different level. Um, if you want to learn more about the different levels that, are, are, that there are in your learning process, just click on this link over here and it will bring you to the Bloom model 
that explains six different levels there are. It's an easy read and it gives you a way better insight on your own learning perspective as well. So very interesting. So that's it for 3.1.1, uh, the introduction of change. We will now start with the very first part, the only constant in life and true change comes from within, where we go to explain these topics. So later on, by the end of the video, you will have a short, quick pop-up quiz. Hopefully we are in time to upload some quiz questions for you. And you will see your assignment for that particular paragraph. All the assignments of all the paragraphs of 3.1, so week one innovations, together will form your individual portfolio. So keep that in mind, your individual portfolio, as already been uh, explained by Ricardo most likely, is now incorporated in the player as well and recognizable as assignments. So hopefully um, this gives you a better understanding of every week and every content. If not, you know where to find us. So let's hop on to the very first session. True chains come, comes from within.